Pennsylvania State University's College of Engineering is one of the nation's largest. Over 1,300 students graduate with their bachelor's degree from the College of Engineering. We also have about $110 million worth of research, which is funded by federal, state, and industrial sources. A particular feature of this is that about 25% of our research is funded from industry. We have a thematic approach to engineering education in which we wish to produce students who will become world-class engineers. And one of the themes of world-class engineer criteria includes innovation and creativity. And so at the very first courses that our students take as first-year students, uh, they take a design subject which begins to have them think about creativity and innovation as they go through their course program. And then in the senior year, we have the capstone design subject in which students work in teams with industry mentors and sponsors and undertake a project uh, that leads to them producing innovative solutions. At the heart of this innovation and creativity is the Learning Factory. The idea behind the Learning Factory is to really bring in and work with industry partners to challenge what students are doing, help them think about, come up with creative, innovative ideas as part of their uh, engineering experience. This is where students develop their capstone projects for the design showcase. The idea behind the design showcase is now the students have an opportunity to sell, pitch, talk about their ideas to company sponsors that come throughout. They judge the projects uh, and are there throughout the afternoon asking them questions on how well have they satisfied the customer requirements needs and have you demonstrated that the solution is going to do what it says it's going to do and save money and uh, reduce costs, uh, improve the quality of the design. The project that we designed for a showcase today is simulating the Mars future space vehicle. It's going to water impact in the year 2030, and this is uh, replicating that on a small scale. Once they go to Mars and they're coming back, is water impact. Working in the real world, I mean, we're measuring accelerations and pressures and using the same equipment that they use on the full-scale NASA instrument. The relationship with Boeing has been so valuable. I've actually got a job through this um, entire process, and I will be working with Boeing. So just knowing the people, having an inside contact, be someone to pass your resume on to, it's been great. What we are looking for mostly out of this is to give students that hands-on experience, the design, analyze, build, and test. That's real important to us. They don't get it anywhere else in their curriculum usually, and they get it here at the Learning Factory. We are here for the students because what we find is the more experience they have doing this, the better employees they can make. We also use this program to develop our employees. This is sometimes the very first project they get to manage. Students need to understand that industry behaves differently than academia. In industry, we have deadlines, we have budgets, we have schedules, and things don't always go right. And this project helps them experience that. We are measuring both through the year because that's where most of the capillaries are. And then from the server, both parties are going to be able to see all of the information. From working with someone in the industry, some of the benefits you receive is experience. They've been in the industry for quite some time. That helps you now, especially as a senior, because you're getting ready to go into industry. You get some of that experience and some of that exposure. So the design exchange was sort of a follow-on you know, after the showcase between while well, the companies are here on campus, we asked a few of them uh, to come and share their practices uh, for being innovative, for doing design, for getting different uh, expertise to the table. And so it was really an opportunity for us as faculty members, having just taught students throughout the semester how to work with industry, to spend time hearing, well, what is industry really doing? And then be able to connect the dots. How do we improve what we're doing in the classroom so that then as the students work on these problems, they're ready to go out and work for these companies. So it sort of, it closed, it was a nice way of sort of closing the loop between uh, working and doing the teaching, working with companies, and then having them come back and teach us. Today's workshop really showed that there are a lot of wonderful tools to use that, and processes that are really worthwhile exploring and gets them out of sort of the, the box of maybe the way that they've been thinking. So that constant interaction between 
industry, faculty, and students, I think, is just something that wants to be continuous and ongoing because it's always, it's always so positive to know what's going on external in the field. The interactions between the sponsors and the students and the faculty, I think all three of them sort of win through that interaction. The students get to sort of experience what, what the industry wants. The faculty learn sort of what industry wants and how to guide those students in that process. And at the same time are taking back new tools, techniques, ways of thinking, identifying new problems from their industry partners that may influence their own research. The College of Engineering is also committed to community outreach and developing the next generation of engineers through their Engineering Ambassadors program. An Engineering Ambassador is a passionate engineering undergraduate student who receives advanced communications and leadership training and goes out to middle and high schools to give presentations to show those students that engineering makes a difference to the health, happiness, and safety of our world. I think something that's innovative about our approach is that there's a really good synergy between the benefits that the ambassadors receive but also the impact that they're having in their outreach activities. They are creating an opportunity for middle and high school students to be excited and to be encouraged to pursue the field of engineering, but also through the experiences that the ambassadors have, these are giving them skills that will help them to be the next generation of leaders in the engineering field.